Hey guys, my name is Ben and I am going to see if I can get a pulsator off of this Kenmore washer that's a top load out. I have done about four or five of these in the past week and found out that they can be quite a challenge depending on what tools you have available to you. The pulsator looks like this and even though the washer says it's a Kenmore, these are common on LG's, Samsung's, GE, and maybe even another brand or two beyond those four. Uh, this doesn't work for whirlpools because they have an entirely plastic uh, hub on them or plastic wash plate and the GEs and these other styles have metal and they're a little bit easier to use this technique on. Some people will tell you to use uh, air shims, belts, ratchet straps with two by fours and I don't want to discount those working or not but I've been able to do three or four in a row this week with the same technique and it doesn't really require a lot of tools. All I'm going to be using are some screws and some pliers uh, in addition to being able to take the cap off. So let's see if this is going to work on the unit or if I'm just dumb. The first thing we are going to do is take a small flathead screwdriver and insert it into the pulsator cap. There is a small opening for the cap that you will have to feel around for with your hands, but once you find it, you can insert the small screwdriver and pull up to remove the cap. It may take a little bit of effort though. Once removed, set it to the side and wash it because usually these are extremely nasty underneath. To remove the bolt that keeps the pulsator plate on the main shaft, you're going to need to use a 10 millimeter socket wrench to unscrew the bolt. Depending on if the plate is totally worn out, you may have to hold the plate down with one hand while unscrewing the bolt with the other. I didn't however have to do that with this unit. Once you are ready, take two screws that can fit into the holes in the pulsator plate itself and thread them into the unit. I bought a few different types of screws to test which ones were the best and ended up failing a few times uh, when I tried to do this initially. Number 10 screws are too large and number 6 are too small. Number 8's worked the best, but my initial attempt with wood and metal screws did not work too well on this video, but I have used them to success before using a lot of pressure on the wash plate to force them to thread. You need a screw that can, has a coarse thread to it and one that can stab through the metal and plastic plate easily. But which ones work the best for this test after going to a hardware store for the second time? I settled with the cheapest deck screws possible. They have a coarse thread and are rather pointed. They worked extremely well and threaded into the wash plate with ease. You don't want to thread the screws in too deep to bury them into the plastic tub, which could cause a leak. But there is a lot of margin between the plate and the basket, so you don't want to sink them in too far beyond the bottom of the plate. I used 1 inch screws and you could even use 3 quarter inch just fine. Now it will take a little bit of force to get them to bite into the plate, but it was relatively easy to get them to thread into the holes. Although I did have to fight with the wash plate moving a little bit while I did this, but it wasn't too hard. Next, take two slip jawed pliers, or any sort of pliers really, and use them to grab onto the screws that are, have been threaded to the wash plate. Pull up as hard as you can and it should pop out in short order. This wash plate actually came out really easy, but I've used this technique to pull out extremely difficult wash plates as well and should work pretty well for you. And there you go. The wash plate has popped out and you can now inspect for whatever is wrong. Do note that if you use this technique, the screws could create some metal burrs on the hole in the wash plate. So if you do reinstall the same exact wash plate, you'll want to inspect the holes if you need to file or sand them down. After uninstalling the screws from this wash plate, I did find that there was a very slight burr, but I was easily able to fix it before reinstalling the wash plate. And while you have the wash plate out, if you plan on reusing the same wash plate, make sure to clean it off. This one had what looked like dirt underneath the cap and a lot of junk on the underside of the wash plate. Now to reinstall, just simply push the plate back in, put the nut on, and then the cap, and then you're done.